the following example where I started with, we want to design a, a cylindrical container whose volume is given that, maxim, that minimize the, uh, the surface area, minimize the cost. So design a, a cylindrical container whose volume is V, this is given, so we want to design it such that its surface area is minimal. Let's call it surface area, we call it S, is minimized. So let's say a beverage a company or oil company or somebody is uh, uh, hired you to, uh, to design this such container that minimize, and you task to find a dimension that minimizes the cost of the container, the material cost at least. Okay, um, so let's look at the uh, the problem of uh, visually. The container, the cylinder, has the a circle for the top and a circle from the bottom. And then it has the envelope. Okay. Now, if you break it, if you cut it, or if you build it, you need to use two pieces. You need to foil a rectangular uh, sheet, like so. So you foil it to make the envelope, and then you have to cut a circle to, to be the top uh, base and the bottom base. Okay? So let's say we have the area of the circle here. I wrote A circle is pi r squared. The area of the circle here is the same thing, pi r squared. So we have two of those, and then let's say this is the height h, and the height h will be the width of the cylinder, of the rectangle. What will be the length of the rectangle? That will be the circumference of the circle, right? So that will be 2 pi r. So the area of the rectangle like so, will be 2 pi r times h. And we need to find r and h that minimize the surface area. Okay? So what is the surface area? The surface area is made of 2 times pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, like so. Now, this is a function of R and H. We need to find R and H. But right now, as it stands, we want a function in sing a single variable function. So we need to substitute one variable with the other. And the way to do it is we're going to use the volume. Okay. We know, uh, we, we use the volume to reduce uh, two variables to one. In the target function. So we use the volume to reduce two variables in the target function to, to only one. How are we going to do it? Well, we look at the volume of a cylinder. And the volume of a cylinder is the base multiplied by height. So V equals pi r squared times h. And therefore, we can solve for h. Remember, V is given to us. H 
equals v divided by pi r squared. Okay, keep that in mind. This is something we're going to use. And now we're going to plug it in. Uh, so replace h in s in the target function. That's how we do it. So now we can say s is a function of r only will be what? 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r instead of h. I have v over pi r squared. So let's change it just a little bit more. And we have 2 pi r squared. And after uh, you eliminate Let's see, pi and pi cancel each other, r and r squared. So you end up having plus 2v divided by, by r. Which we can write as... 2 pi r squared plus 2v times r to the negative 1 because the next thing I want to do, I want to find critical numbers, right? So I need to critical number of s. So we take the derivative s prime of r or ds dr. And we have uh, 4 pi r minus 2 v r to the negative 2, right? Or 4 pi r minus 2 v divided by r squared, and all of it equal to 0, multiplied by r squared, And get 4 pi r cube minus 2v equals 0, or get uh, r cube equal v divided by 2 pi. Okay? So, I need to solve for r. So, r will be the cube root of v divided by 2 pi. Now, this is a satisfactory solution because I know v. For example, if v equal 1,000 cubic centimeters, v equal 1 liter, you calculate it and you get, I think, uh, 5.42 centimeter. I mean, you can put it in the calculator. So, for example, if V equals 1,000 uh, cubic centimeter, uh, then R equals the cube root of 1,000 divided by 2 pi. And this equal approximately to 5.42 centimeter. But we are not out of the woods yet. We need to calculate H. And to calculate H uh, requires some doing. H equals V divided by pi R squared. Okay? So I need to plug R squared here. So to do so, I'll write R is using exponential notation. So it will be v over 2 pi raised to the power of 1 third. Okay? And then I'll plug it right here. It will be v divided by pi. And then r squared will be v divided by 2 pi. And you squared 1 cube, you get 2 cubed, 2 over 3, like so. This requires a little bit of algebra manipulation here, okay? I want to have, I see that inside here I have v divided by 2 pi. 
I want to have V divided by 2 pi as well. Okay? So what I'll do, I'll write it in the following form. I'll multiply and divide by 2. So I have 2V divided by 2 pi V2 divided by 2 pi and now I'll do the following trick. I want to work on like terms. So what I happen or what happened here is the following. I have two, right? These two comes out, and I have a V divided by two pi divided by V divided by two pi two cube. You see what I'm getting at? Let's say this is u and this is u to the power of 2 cubed. What do you have when you divide one by the other? This is to the power of 1, and this is to the power of 2 cubed. Don't you have cube? You subtract. So you'll end up having 2 times v over 2 pi to the power of 1 third, or 2 times the cube root of v over 2 pi. Folks, what is this? What is cube root of v over 2 pi? Wow, 2R. So, maximize or minimize S, the surface area, if R equals the cube root of V over 2 pi and H equals 2R or the, or the diameter. This is an interesting result. If you look at the soda can, Coca-Cola and other manufacturers of soda can don't use this formula. But if you go out to bigger containers, such as if you look at um, oil containers near port, and you'll see the design of the containers, you can see that the design is such that the diameter, this one, and the height have the same dimension. If this is D and this is H, and you'll find out that H equals D, D being 2R. Okay. That's very common. Why? Because it gives you the best ratio of volume to surface area. Those of you are into, into constructions or into engineering, that's something worth knowing. Oh, let's talk about business application. Very important. What is the goal of every business? Maximize the profit. 